Thank you for purchasing PowerCord's Prime Break System. Inside of each package, you will find your PowerCord sticker, your PowerCord's grommet clasps, your PowerCord's ferrule pack, two PowerCord's, and one 5mm segment of housing, along with an instruction manual. Inside each pack you'll find four grommet clasps, your various ferrules, two power cords, one segment of housing, and one installation manual. Now let's take a closer look at the ferrules. Inside of each brake ferrule pack you will find two 45 degree short nose ferrules, four flat nose brazon ferrules, and two long nosed ferrules for the barrel adjusters. Required tools for installation include cable cutters, an awl, Allen wrenches sized 4 or 5 millimeters, a third hand clamp, and a utility knife. Prior to installation, attach your bike firmly to a stand. First, cut and remove the original cable. Then, insert the power cord following the route of the original cable. Note the original routing of cables and housing before removing, then cut new housing to match original. Use an awl to clean out and re-round the housing ends. At point of exit from the shifter, you will use the smaller, 45 degree short nosed ferrule to protect the cords within the shift lever. Feed the cord through the power cords prime housing and attach at the smaller 45 degree short nosed ferrule. Then screw out the barrel adjuster halfway and place inside a long nosed ferrule to protect the cord inside of the barrel adjuster. Feed cords through the barrel adjuster and insert the housing into the ferrule. Then remove the anchor bolt from the front brake and place one of the included blue grommets onto the anchor bolt. Clamp brake pads tight against the rim using a clamp as shown or a third hand tool. Run the cords under the anchor bolt following the same entry path of the original cable. Wrap the cord 360 degrees around the anchor bolt while creating an overhand knot. Hold your thumb on the underside of the knot to maintain tension, then Pull the power cord down in one swift motion to complete the knot. Snugly tighten the anchor bolt to hold the cords, but not all the way. Squeeze the brake lever to assure the ferrules are seated and the cable tension is to your liking. Next, tighten the anchor bolt to the manufacturer's specification or repeat this process if necessary. Remove the clamp and squeeze the brake lever. Squeeze it firmly to finalize the installation of the brake cords. Using your utility knife, cut the cord to the appropriate length. Remove the original cable and housing. Cut your power cord's prime housing to match the original. Using an awl, widen the inside diameter of the recently cut housing. Feed the cord through the brake lever, making sure it is fully seated.
At the point of exit from the shifter, you will use the smaller 45 degree short nosed ferrule to protect the cords within the shift lever. Then, feed your cord through the power cord's prime housing. Once your housing is attached to the ferrule, reseat the ferrule inside of the brake lever. Run your power cord through a short nosed brazon on ferrule and attach the ferrule to housing. Then cut your rear brake housing segment to match the original, as shown. Run the power cord through the short nosed brazon on ferrule and through the housing. Use your long nosed ferrule for the barrel adjuster and feed the cord through the ferrule and barrel adjuster, making sure the housing is properly seated. Screw your barrel adjuster halfway out to allow for later adjustment. Then attach your clamp or third hand tool to the rear brake. After fitting the grommet onto the anchor bolt, run the cord under the anchor bolt following the same entry path as the original cable. Then wrap the cords 360 degrees around the anchor bolt while creating an overhand knot, as shown. Holding the underside of the knot in place as shown, pull down with one swift motion to complete the knot. Tighten anchor bolt in order to hold cords in place at this time. Remove the third hand tool or clamp and give the brake levers a squeeze to ensure ferrules and housing are properly seated. When you're satisfied, tighten the anchor ball all the way and cut cord to the appropriate length. After installation, make sure to do a visual inspection of the full bike to ensure the cords are not running over any burrs or sharp edges that may cause them to fray. Thank you for your purchase of PowerCords Prime. If you have any questions about installation, visit us at our website.